always talks about him. Hitman players have often hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And this is yet another uh, contracts video. And uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to look at uh, the con uh, some contracts from uh, the stages we just did. Run for your life. And I'm also going to look at uh, the two entries for the competition this week. Between uh, Ryujin, Blue Z, and Circle Master. Those are the only two that made contracts. I think, as far as I know. Um, and it's pretty close. It's a pretty close, uh, it's a pretty close race. Actually, I still haven't decided, uh, which, which of you has won yet, so, I guess, I guess I'll just have to think about that more. And, uh, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll play them on screen here today to show you what they made. Um, this is kind of a cool one, I guess. Pretty sure I did this one before. Yeah, there it is. Um, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, the library hits are pretty basic. I don't know, maybe they got more difficult if you picked a higher difficulty, but uh, I'm not really interested in all that. Although I, I imagine you could uh, really rack up the the points, uh, the, the cyber bucks by by playing on easier difficulty. Killing babies, classy name. All right. So. Uh, okay, boys. I want this, this guy uh, went for now some of the easiest targets, and that's fine by me. Hey, Vizano. And number one here is going to come up the stairs to greet us. Yeah, Sogonash. Right, so number one won't come up here until you fucking walk over here. That's one of the things about Hitman Absolution that kind of rubs me the wrong way, is that there's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, events that are triggered by the player moving 47 to a certain point. Then uh, once you move 47 to that certain point, the game takes that cue. And that's a that's a popular way for game developers to set up set pieces and and story events. Um, but you know, in oh shit, gotta get over here fast before he looks. There we go. In the original Hitman games, um, everything's happening at once for the most part, and because they're happening at once for the most part. Um, Oh, wow, that was close. That guy almost saw me. <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Huh. So, that guy actually saw the body, the dead body, even though, uh, even though... Oh, shit. God damn it. Damn. Holy crap. Put down your... No, I won't put down my weapon. You die, you bastard. There we go. Ow. I fucked that up. But, uh, what do you expect? There. <laughs> and, uh, I haven't proved on my previous score at all, so we won't get any money. Yeah. So... When I killed this second guy here, even though technically he didn't see the body, he saw the body, which caused him to freak out and run over to investigate. Um, a similar thing could happen when you get spotted, but uh, you lose the points, but you don't get—you uh, don't actually alert the guy. 
That's happened to me before. I'm sure, it's probably happened to some of you guys, too. So, um... Let's see here. Check history. History is kind of useless. Um, you know, it shows me these ones, right? And then it shows these ones here. I'm not really sure why it does that. Anyway. Uh, there was another one I liked from the library. Let's see if I can find that. It's an all sniper mission. Let's see here. Um, huh. Don't seem to see it anywhere. Ah. Here we go. I think, right? No, well, that's not the particular one I'm looking for. Is this one here? There we go. Bad cop. And it's in uh, another language. A language I don't understand. And, uh, because we're going to be sniping multiple targets, um, I made sure to put the, uh, rapid-fire bolt on so I don't have to, uh, you know, eject the shell every time I fire. <sighs> I think this is the same one. I hope it is. You know... The text is in another language, but the title is in English. Bad Cop, Azdur 753. Let's jump down here. Okay, boys. Go. I want this fucking place turned upside down. Not getting away on my watch. Okay, this is a completely different one. There's a, uh, there's about approximately. Everything clear. Oh shit. They didn't see me though, they didn't see me. Nice. We should transfer the goddamn saw to Alright, we need to make sure we got everything secured. I don't want anyone coming in or out without me knowing about it. Fisano, where's the goddamn light? Hmm. It's about goddamn time. I'm afraid this guy over here is going to see me shoot this guy in the head. Hold on a second. And Nice. Oh, shit. Really? How? How in the world did they spot me? Yeah. And I don't know if I'm going to leave this one in or not. Okay, so. That was a similar contract, but not the one I actually played. Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to fiber wire that guy. Whatever. Wasn't really paying attention. Um, and this is getting old, so let me play one more from Shangri-La. I never bothered playing any from the train station. Uh, Shangri-La has some really stupidly easy ones and a couple of really difficult ones I was trying uh, huh. Hold on a second. Ah, that's why. I was playing most re recent instead of most popular. That's why. Um, so there's about three million of the same, more or less, uh, contracts. Let's pick the first one right here. And all you have to do is kill these guys and not miss. That's it. And in case you guys don't know, um, you don't have to pick the pistol that they show you, you can pick another pistol. Um, you know, I, I didn't realize that at first. So, if you kill someone with a pistol, it can be a derringer, it can be a silver baller, it can be a jag, whatever. Okay. Contract by Derp. Take out my gat. This is the police. And it really couldn't be easier than this. Yeah. Three dead hippies. And we don't have to worry about getting spotted or hiding the bodies either because the person playing this game didn't bother with it themselves. 
and uh, yeah, I already played that one, so I don't get any more points. And like I said, there's about three dozen of the same contracts there. So, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the contracts that uh, two of our competitors made. Uh, Ryujin Blue Z and Circle Master. Other people did make uh, contracts, but I assume that they weren't for the competition because they're not, uh, they're not, uh, determinist stage. I will check those out later, though. Alright, so, uh, Circle Masters is considerably easier, so let's try this one first. And it's, the title is Old Jolton Joe. We got a bunch of different things going on here. And it says, I'm sick of hearing about the great Joe is about how great is how great Joe is and how horrible janitors are. Joe isn't even his real name. I need him dead. And it takes a legend to bring down a legend. I'll leave a spare uniform for you to use. That should get you into the work areas. I want Joe, in quotations, and his psychophantic buddies to get a real charge out of this. Um, <laughs> I really, I really like the uh, the the copy for this one. I like it a lot. <sighs> I had a good laugh out of it. And right, so the guy down there fixing the the pipes or the the fuse box or whatever in the water. Uh, his name's Travis Keating. <laughs> I wonder if that was on purpose or if they just weren't paying attention. I guess Joe's just a nickname, huh? Ooh, maybe they never got on the right name tag. You know, at my workplace, uh, they really made a big deal about us wearing name tags, so... And for some reason, they couldn't get my name tag. They couldn't get a name tag that said Nick on it. So instead, I have to wear a name tag that says Manuel. By the way, what does 47's name tag say? Hold on a second. I can't read it. It's out of focus. wonder if it says Manuel. Yeah, goddamn vandalist, you! Let's head down here. If you were my husband, I'd poison your wonder what it's like working oh, for yeah. such a shitty place, a huh? You me. think you can get away with stuff you wouldn't normally? You know I bet you can. And how about that guy, the manager who runs the place? He sure is a pushover, huh? Probably easy to get some time off. So I turned on the generator. That's, of course, step one. Pick up the screwdriver. And actually, I think the hardest part of this contract was garroting the guy uh, and not getting shot to death before I was able to escape. And wait for these guys to turn around and pull this lever. Oh, Jesus. That was fucking close. I've got to the now, how am I going to take these guys out without getting killed? I mean, I know Circle Master didn't huh? do it because there are no stipulations for it. Hmm? Hey, how's it going? Not bad. I was thinking about killing you. Um, but I'm afraid number two will see. How about if I go around here? No, then he'll see. You know, these guys don't really seem too uh, bent out of shape, considering the friend just got killed. What the oh, really? I'm gonna murder you. Fuck! Oh, shit. Alright. And I'm coming for you, friend. I'm coming for you. Uh oh, he's getting upstairs. Oh wait, is he? Oh shit. Oh what? Oh man. Darn it. Uh oh. I better get the fuck out of here. Alright. Um which way did I come in again? 
It's over here somewhere. Uh, gonna escape through here. Yeah, I killed Ricky. So what? Fuck you. All right. Huh. So somehow I did worse than last time. Well. Whew. Joe is dead. He's not lightning proof. So. Uh. I give an A plus for the premise for the story. Uh, I think more of a B for the the actual killing. Oh, and I, did, I didn't manage to beat Circle Master. Hmm. But he beat mine last time. Alright, so, let's let's try out, uh... Mr. Ryujin Bluesies. Whoops, not... That's the wrong one. Um... Friends? And... Ryujin Bluesy. Okay. So, uh, this one's called Getting Clear with God. Let's take out... Let's check out the... The, uh, the description. Sinners, filthy heathens who have turned from the one true path of God. These three must be punished and feel the righteous fury of his wrath. Each of these have sinned in their own twisted, disgusting way. Drawing away our lambs, worshipping the feet of the unwashed rock and roll. Punish these heathen 47 and make them feel the wrath of God. Huh. It's it's a funny one, especially considering uh <laughs> the one guy here who doesn't get killed, the guy who's getting clear with God. Uh, so his his wife Jenny Angelo is gonna bite the dust. Terry Strong is um, because he worships feet. <laughs> he really does. And uh, Roman Hayes. You know, I wonder if Terry Strong's wife is pretty feet. I wonder if she just has really pretty feet, and that's why he married her in the first place. Huh? And Roman Hayes, yeah. So this one, um, this one was a contract that uh, a lot of people made. Actually, these were like the three targets that they chose for some reason. Um, so in that sense, uh, Ryujin's uh, mm, contract isn't 100% original, but uh, there are some some cool things about it, you know, besides the description. There's the fact that uh, we need to get a particular weapon. A weapon that, as far as I know, isn't, uh... Isn't available in more than one place in the stage. So if you don't know where it is, you gotta find secure. it first. Uh -huh. Seal up tight. I'm gonna wait for that Nobody lady to turn around. Mr. First Dexter thing I gotta do permission. is go through here. And I have played this contract over quite a few times, trying to get it right. Haven't succeeded yet. Maybe I'll succeed this time. I gotta make sure that guy over there is turned around, and I'm gonna hit this fire alarm. And uh, it's gonna get these guys out of the way. I think I've already shown that off before. I think somebody needs to get you to some anger management or some shit. You know, you don't have to freak out about it. Alright, so it's gonna head back through here. And I'm gonna pick up something <clears throat> to help distract some guards a little later on. And one thing to note is that uh, even though 47 is deadly with a wrench, you don't have to hide it. Because people look at the wrench and they just go, oh, he's just a man in a nice suit holding a wrench. Nothing to worry about. Of course, we know better than that. Gonna head up here, and as soon as we get in here, we're gonna throw this wrench at the corner, and that jackass is gonna turn around. Gonna pick up these scissors, the tools. Okay, we got out of there safely, and the got the scissors in hand. Man, these shears are huge, aren't they? You can really cut someone up with these things. So, uh, <clears throat> one thing uh, I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw these scissors. Every single time. Every single time I make a kill. Alright, these guys are going to have you their argument. Have to. And, like I mentioned earlier in the video, um, everything in this game is built on cues that are triggered when the player moves 47 to a certain point. 
So these guys won't uh, have their conversation until you get close enough. Um, where was I? Kind of lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, um, you don't want to slit their throat. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Ryujin did, but the problem with slitting people's throats with melee weapons is that sometimes the uh, the target will see you as you're slitting their throat, which is kind of odd. And of course, that costs you points. I'm gonna dump her out the window here. And we don't have to hide these scissors because I guess 47 washed the blood off or something. I don't know. So uh, now that the, the timer's ticking down, and we gotta. Of course, we don't want to jump through the window yet because this this guy over here is gonna is gonna stand over there with his hands on his hips, looking real pleased with himself. <laughs> pleased as punch, I'd say. All right. Now that he's turned around, we can head through the window. Now. This is hostile territory, which means that if uh, if an NPC sees us, they'll either start shooting at us, or if they're uh, an innocent bystander, they'll run to a guard who will start shooting at us. And I gotta think, why would you shoot a man who's seemingly going to commit suicide? Seems kind of gratuitous. Seems kind of redundant, you know? So over here is Terry Strong, the resident foot fetishist. And, uh, I'm just waiting for him to finish his conversation because even though it's possible to jump in there and take him out, um, while he's still talking, trying to talk to Ron or Don or whoever that guy is, uh, it's just safer to wait, you know? I, I frustrate myself a lot by trying to do things too soon, trying to cut out time in my playthrough, but... You know, one thing I've noticed with Absolution is that because there's no saves coming, because you can't save whenever you want, it's really just better to wait rather than be frustrated. Um, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about 47 suit. It's a wonderful suit. It's a beautiful suit. Um, and he's got a custom tie clip, too, that has the, the agency's logo on it. I am jealous. And I'm not really a fashion guy, you know? I, I'm not a fashion guy. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to... Hold on a second. I'm gonna drop these scissors here. Oh, shit! God damn it! Is anyone there? No. Oh, shit. What could that have been? Wow, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Awesome! Oh, man! <laughs> Terry Strong, you are a fucking moron! <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe that it, that worked! <laughs> wow! I, uh... <laughs> what I wanted to do was to put the scissors down on the ground. I didn't realize it makes so much noise. And then throw the radio over here. Because normally when I turn on the radio, uh, someone outside the room hears it, too. And if my timing isn't perfect, uh, he'll see me as I... Huh. I was there. I saw them. Boss boys. Right. Okay. I don't know what that guy's problem is, but... Uh, we got more killing to do. So, uh... We want to make sure that, uh... The person outside doesn't see us. I think we're safe now. I think. Hope so. Because this, this part rear is pretty frustrating since uh, you're not allowed to be in this hallway, you know? I guess this guy just pays extra money to uh, to have people not even come in this hallway. Seriously, dude? What the fuck are you doing? Come on! I just ruined your your uh, your stuff. Yeah, I didn't realize this guy did anything but play on his, uh, on his, uh, okay, well, now it's not going to work. What? What keeps messing up my energy flow? What keeps messing up my energy flow? Alright, 
But like I said, I didn't realize this guy did anything but plan his uh his keyboard. Hello. Who man is like spreading bad vibes out here? And this lady won't Hello, mind her own anyone? fucking business. And she's gonna ruin everything. Please leave, woman. Please. Thank you. And let's hopefully we can get in here. Mm, okay, I'm gonna go over here actually. Oh, darn it. He saw me. That fucking sucks. And of course, the damn maid's gonna come in too. No! Seriously? Oh, damn it. That would have been perfect. But no, 47, you had to... You had to... You had to, tr you had to try to pick up the bottle. You know, you had to, you had to try to pick up the, bu the damn bottle. Oh, well. Uh, no harm done. We'll stick her in here. With a bleeding corpse. And make our escape. Oh, and this... There we go. Not that it really mattered since I already lost points. And, oh shit, where's the exit? It's upstairs? Oh, fuck. Damn! Okay, um... I, I... Hey, how's it hanging, huh? Like I said, um... I've never actually finished this before, so I didn't notice that, uh... The exit was not in an easy place. Thanks a lot, Eugene. <laughs> um... Let's head up here. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna get any bonus points, am I? Well, you know, I already got spotted. So, might as well just make a run for it, right? Wow. Holy shit, Ryujin. <laughs> That's quite a tricky, uh... Quite a tricky contract. Um... Hmm. So, I did get spotted. Well, it worked out pretty well until the very end, huh? So, uh... And Ryujin bested us all. Um... Alright, so... Who's the winner? Between Ryujin and Circle Master. Um... Well, both of them are funny. I think Circle Master's description was funnier. I thought the story was a little more creative. But I'm going to have to give it to Ryujin because his contract was just more fun to play. I feel kind of bad because I know I told Circle Master that uh, the, the trickiness of it didn't really matter as much. But uh, in the end, I guess uh, uh, the fact that I had to play... Ryujin so many times in a row to, to get it, to even complete it, uh, won the day. So, congratulations, Ryujin, and you'll get a sketch. You know, try, try to think of something funny. If not, I'll try to think of something funny. Um, I'm Nick Meister, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.